Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Wednesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Herz. Today on What's for Lunch, we have Ryan and Sarah from Hickory and Ash in Broomfield. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Quick little story on both of them. So, Sarah, I met through Instagram a year and a half ago. She's the pastry chef for Kevin Taylor Restaurants. I saw just artwork and I'm like holy <laughs> shh can I can I repost that and I asked and she said yes absolutely and then we've become friends since then mm -hmm. and Ryan uh, I worked with his dad almost 20 years ago at Prima and Kevin tells the Opera House and he worked there a little bit at his dad's restaurant as so I met him when he was 15 he was cooking yeah, there just started and now they have Hickory and Ash up in Broomfield and also Masa Cucina where we filmed uh, a restaurant tours where you could watch in that episode because that place is amazing. Not open right now, thank you, thank you. but amazing. The food was so good. You can watch that episode on OCN videos on YouTube. So tell us what it's like to be in the restaurant business right now in Broomfield. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely interesting. It's a little bit challenging. Um, you know, we uh, started to do a small portion of uh, sort of take home meal kits. Um, so we started that off and you know that had some good traction but now that we were actually able to bring you know some staff back and that kind of thing we were you know started moving into more of a hot food menu we were able to uh, offer steaks again um, you know and just sort of some some comfort classics so to tell them yeah tell them I should ask first what is Hickory and Ash what, what's the cuisine style so we call ourselves a modern American meadery so we're kind of a steakhouse but we like to use a little bit more whole animal um, so a lot of braising things, roasting, not just, you know, your typical steak and baked potato. I like to do some fun avant-garde stuff um, along with the desserts as well. Um, just sort of some good American food. And what is, what would you say is your signature item there? Um, you know, we have a lot of, lot of uh, great items. You know, our short ribs, we definitely are known for our steaks uh, that are locally raised. Um, you know, with some fun appetizers, you know, we kind of do some play on you know, some different terms, you know, green eggs and ham, duck, duck, goose, that kind of thing. So just trying to have fun with some food, sure. nothing that's, uh, you know, too pretentious. Well, what are your hours these days? So as of right now, we are uh, doing our takeout menu from 12 to 8, Monday through Friday, and right. then 4 to 8 on uh, Saturday, close on Sunday, just so we can all take a break. So I think a lot of people are going to be rethinking their hours when this is over and maybe not be open, you know, I'm guessing you were open till 10 before. Yeah. 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 So shorten hours, shorten labor. Mm -hmm. There's probably not that much business that was going on after that anyway. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And how can people get your food? Is it delivery, takeout, both? So we're doing uh, we're doing takeout and curbside. So um, basically, whenever you're uh, ready to eat, go ahead and call us, and we'll actually bring the food out to you. Um, we have a nice uh, sort of uh, parking area that we have outside, um, just designated for curbside. Um, so try to make it super easy, super safe for um, not only our staff, but for our guests as well. And where are you located? Uh, so we're in the Arista Development, so right next to the First Bank Center up in Broomfield. Um, 8001 Arista Place is, is kind of in that little uh, nook up there. Okay. And that's where your other restaurant is as well? Yeah. Yeah, which is just uh, about 35 steps away. So. Okay. And um, let's talk about what you brought me for lunch today. It all looks amazing. Thank you. Thanks. Um, so we uh, so starting over here on the left, we have our double double burger. So um, it's a burger made with uh, local uh, beef, local pork, local uh, ground bacon, and we actually throw a little bit of ground butter into the mix. So as it kind of caramelizes on the griddle, it sort of browns and gets nice and crispy. We have our crispy uh, smashed home fries, done with a little bit of chili flake and parmesan. Um, our next dish is uh, that we're highlighting today is our version of shrimp and grits with kind of a Latin take on it. So we have a tomatillo jam, a little pepper relish, and some uh, chorizo made with uh, three different types of chili and achiote. Beautiful. So that's a fun little dish. Uh, our next one is uh, one of our appetizers. So it's our, our kind of take on uh, buffalo chicken fries that you would say maybe you'd get from uh, Burger King back in the day. So it's also <laughs> done with uh, buffalo cauliflower. We have a green goddess dressing pickled celery and apples, and some blue cheese. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sharing this food today, Mr. <laughs> Producer. I think you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> dessert, and then, yeah, we got, we're talking to dessert. I was wondering when Sarah was going to get to talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, so for dessert, we decided to bring back um, just a, a one or two fun dishes, but these are some new favorite uh, dishes that we like. They're just kind of, like, comforting, but not too pretentious. Uh, this is the oatmeal 
cream pie with um, some vanilla marshmallow meringue inside, and then a butterscotch budino with cocoa crumble and bourbon cherries. Yeah, she's got mad skills. <laughs> Follow her, Sweet Sara, on Instagram for some serious food porn. Tell them, please tell them some of the other desserts you make for Hickory Nash. Uh, so our signature dessert, um, but since you've already tried the PBJ, <laughs> I didn't want to bring something that you've already had before. That's so fair. the PBJ is our signature dessert, which is a layer of chocolate cake, a layer of peanut butter mousse, and a layer of raspberry jam, all covered in chocolate ganache, yeah, served with a chocolate sorbet and some blowing. caramel. So so. Are you still doing any of those uh, popsicles? Um, not right now, okay. um, because we're trying to to steer away from stuff that's that hard to yeah that's hard to package home. up. So that's kind of like the shift that we've gone for dessert wise. But luckily enough, the PBJ is it travels perfect uh, uh, in a travel container. So all right. So before we eat, tell them how to get your food. Say your phone numbers, your website. Uh, so you can uh, access us um, ktrg.net, uh, Hickory and Ash, and we have uh, only our one takeout menu right now. Um, and our phone number is 720-330, or 390-4400. Um, and uh, go ahead and call us, place your order as soon as you can. Well, one more thing. Uh, and you know, I know you're doing some nice uh, work for the responders, first responders donating. Mm -hmm. You can tell the people a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, we signed up for the uh, uh, Feeding the Colorado Heroes. So we yeah, did about uh, three of those uh, hospital meals last week. And, you know, we're always open for more, so please contest contact us you can contact me at ryan at ktrg.net um and we'd be happy to help yeah i definitely uh want to talk about that so that's gretchen with prim communications came up with feeding colorado heroes uh you could donate through her gofundme page on instagram and facebook and when she first started she's like yeah we'll be doing one delivery a week <laughs> i'm like this idea is brilliant yeah. you will be doing Absolutely one a day and now she's doing like five a day yeah, for sure. right. so donate to her it's a win-win yeah. restaurants get revenue and the first responders get food, get food. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely now what am i going to start with oh, boy <laughs> i'm just going in for the burger there you, there go. you go yeah let's eat look at that look at it dripping i like to mention that these are homemade hawaiian buns oh holy shit <laughs> 